Sweden, there are 840 national costumes, including the Sami costumes, 550 for women and 290 for men. The national costumes were used by peasantry prior to the industrialization. Some places in Sweden used the national costumes as far as from the 1600s up until the middle of the 1900s. There's been national costumes for different events, everyday casual work, but also for fancier happenings. How, when and where the different costumes would be worn was known in the different areas of Sweden and the knowledge would be passed down by verbal tradition. Depending on where in Sweden you are from, the costumes would look different, with different colours and different details. The Swedish dress has a blue bodice with daisies, the blue and yellow origins from the 1900 Swedish flag. The flag was then made of wool and was difficult to colour with colourful colours. The Swedish national dress varies in detail and looks depending on when and where in Sweden it was made. During the Second World War, the national costumes were forgotten, but in the middle of 1970, they were reintroduced by an example of the costume at Nordiska Museet. A search went out in a magazine for more examples of the costume and in 1983 the Swedish national costume in blue, yellow and white became the official national costume for Sweden. Today it's worn by the women of the Swedish royal family on special events but it's also worn by civil people at different private events or happenings such as Midsummer, Sweden's National Day, christenings or when schools break up for summer holidays. There are folkdräkter from all over Sweden's provinces. Dalarna has the most different ones, 97. Halland has 88 different ones and Jämtland has 67 different ones. So that was everything I wanted to share with you for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up if you did. And aside from that, I will see you in my next video. Take care and stay safe. Hej då!